Welcome back to another tutorial on the Adobe Illustrator course for beginners. In this lesson, we're going to look at two different tools, and the first one is the eraser. Now, here I have these two shapes. One is freehand drawn, and the other one I used uh, the shape, the rectangle tool to create. So I have these two here. I want to show you how the eraser tool will work on both of them, which is quite similar. Um, so I click here. The eraser tool will be found together with the scissor tool and the knife tool. So with it selected, I can come and erase a shape like that. And then it will reconstruct itself and form an outline, a new outline. So I can actually edit the shape by just doing this. Same with the rectangle that I have over here. It will just reconstruct it for me. Now, one thing you should know about uh, the eraser tool, if you want to adjust its size, just come back over here and double click, and these two options will appear. Now you can change the angle, the roundness, and the size. So you can increase it, it will show you the percentage over here, or you can decrease it from over here. So click OK, and you can see now it's a bit smaller. Now, another trick you need to learn with uh, the eraser tool is that if you want to erase in a straight line, you can see I've tried, but that's not a perfect straight line. Hold down Alt key and then just click and drag like so. And it will erase your shape in a straight line. So let's try with this side. Just click and drag and it will do so in a straight line. You can see it's made a perfect straight line from over here. So with everything, uh, everything cleared, let's look at the next tool, and that is the paintbrush. So if you click over here, you'll see we have the paintbrush tool and the blob brush tool. So let's click, the, select the paintbrush tool, and just draw something out over here. Now, if I select this, you'll see that it has a path in the middle. It's based on this path. That's the different the difference between this. So we just move it over here between the paintbrush tool and the blob brush tool. Now let me try using the blob tool. There we go. So if I select it, you see that its curve, its path is on the outside. So we're working with an outline here and a fill, while the fill we're working with just the path itself on the outside. So we come here and let's say let's change its color. You can see it will change its whole color because we're working on the curve. But if I select this instead and change its fill color, now for these you see we've changed the stroke color, but with the blob the blob brush tool we're going to change the fill color. So that's the major difference you need to know about the blob brush tool and the paint brush tool. Again, another thing is the paintbrush tool, if you draw something with it, you can uh, modify it. So I've selected the direct selection tool and I can come here, click and then I can modify it. So let's click over here. So as you can see, I can modify it. Let's just distort it. Uh, you just click on any anchor point and then you drag on these handles. So you're free to manipulate it as much as you want. But with this one, if I select that, then select the direct selecting tool. I only, let's just click. You can see I only affect the outer edge on this other side. So let's try on this other side over here. It will affect it on the other side. So this is the major difference between the blob brush tool and the paintbrush tool. With the paintbrush tool, as you're editing or use your modifying it, you're going to modify it as a whole since it's based on a path. But with the blob brush tool, you're actually working with uh, kind of a shape with a fill color inside of it. So once you make any changes, you're going to be making the changes on the curve 
outside on the edges of the pads that is outside of it and then we have the filter on the inside 